Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple, perfectly appropriate beginner project in pottery, um, a garlic grater. So garlic graters are just, in my context of a garlic grater, are just simple little dishes, very shallow, and they have a raised area in the center so that I can apply some texture. And they're great for um, smashing garlic on, putting some oil and some herbs, using for dipping bread. You can also sometimes grate chocolate on them or zest. So they are multi-purpose tools to have around the kitchen. Great gifts, really simple and easy to make. Um, and these are just designs that I've come up with over the past couple of years of doing, um, doing these kinds of forms. So really simple, just about a pound of clay is plenty. We'll get this guy centered up. And a lot of times beginning students ask me um, before they really know how to make cylinders, how to make a plate. And in my world, plates are a little bit more of an advanced intermediate uh, project. And so this is a nice compromise when a student wants to work on uh, flatter forms on the wheel. It doesn't take a, a lot of skill outside of really being able to center your, your clay. So once I have this piece centered, I'm gonna work on getting it approximately the diameter I'm looking for at my internal um, part of this piece. And this is dependent on the amount of clay you're using. I typically will get this piece down centered to about three quarters of an inch or even a little bit less, which is gonna dictate that external diameter. So this is looking pretty good. with that part of my hand. So rather than doing a traditional dig, like I would do with my fingertips or finger pads, I'm sort of starting to get the indentation of that plate with that bone at the base of my hand. And you can see I start in the center and I draw the clay over to the outside edge or over to the heel of my opposite hand. Always working with those basic principles of keeping your hands connected Focusing your gaze over the center of the wheel, keeping your elbows down. And in my classes, we, we say no flying elbows. And I'm going back now with my sponge and just compressing and adding a little bit more depth to this interior. And then I'm going to use my sponge and my fingertips to just increase the di diameter slightly. And then what I naturally do with these pieces, just to show you, is I add a little bit of a raised element inside. And this is really simple just by digging your finger or the edge of a sponge. There's no particular width that this has to be, but you want to think when you're grating garlic, you need a wide enough surface to go back and have it be functional in the kitchen. So I just press down a slight bit, and this is a thick enough base that it can certainly accommodate that extra pressure. And then I like to go back with my kidney tool, the flat side, and I go back and just flatten, really make sure the surface of this carving area or grating area is nice and flat. That helps later when I put the texture in. Otherwise, you have a wavy surface and you add your texture and then it sort of doesn't work the same way or to the best of its ability in the kitchen later. And then I'm just coming back with a little bit of water and lifting up these side walls. And this is again, sort of personal preference and how you're gonna use this piece or what your intended use is. If you wanna put a, quite a bit of oil in there and use it as a functional piece to serve dipping oil, then you're gonna want a higher side. So I give this a bit of a lip, go back, fix my rim, smooth everything up, take care of any extra slip, and then I go back around with my angled knife, as always, to clean up 
and take off any excess clay that's not contributing to the form, but merely just holding that piece on the bat or on the wheel. And then I'll stop my wheel. I like to take an extra second just to go back around and clean off my bat. And then I add a little bit of fresh water and I run the wire. And this helps to cut the piece free from the wheel. And hopefully it gets a little slide going on so you can just shimmy it on over, lift it up. And as you can see, you've got a fairly shallow dish with a nice little ridged lifted interior. And in a future demo, I'll show you how I add the grating texture.